Right about now, you're probably wondering what happened to the rest of Photo Joseph GH5 test video, the one that apparently everybody is talking about. Well, I've trimmed it, and let me explain why. I didn't want to take it down entirely, even though it is getting an immense amount of negative, negative attention, and that's uh, obviously not what I want. Let me explain what I did, I, which I think that, I feel like people have missed the point of why I put the video up there, other than to poke fun at a couple other YouTubers, which yes, I absolutely did. But the reason that I left the video up or put the video up with all these uh, quote unquote failed tests, the progression tests, was so that people could see how as you make certain changes to the camera, it affects its performance in that particular type of environment, whether you see better or worse locking on, more or less focused hunting, that sort of thing. And the point here was really to allow people to learn from this and see how the camera changes as you change these settings. Unfortunately, I think what's happened is a lot of people have looked at the earlier stages of the test and used that as proof that autofocus doesn't work on the camera. I've seen comments like, well, if you look at minute five, it, the focus is hunting all over the place. Yes, because it, it wasn't done yet. Now, some of you who have watched it all the way through and watched up to the end might be thinking right now, well, yeah, but still at the end, it wasn't perfect. It was better, but it wasn't perfect. Right, it wasn't. Even at the end of that, I said, this is not the end. We'll continue to play with this and continue to try and get better performance. You gotta remember at the time when I was recording it, I obviously wasn't looking through it. So as I was narrating each piece, I wasn't looking to see what was happening. Uh, that's, you know, basically all I got was thumbs up, thumbs down from my assistant, whether it was focusing or not, or when it got focused and so on. Anyway, the point is that the end result of that video, I think achieved good focus. I wrote very, very good. And I think maybe that was a little bit over ambitious, but at the time, given what had led up to it before, I felt that it was very good. Now, obviously I'm not, I'm not a camera comparison guy. I don't compare to other cameras out there. I get comments like, well, very good compared to what? Um, well, honestly, very good compared to previous Lumix cameras because that's where my experience has been for the last several years. That's what I have used. I don't compare, I don't use Sony cameras. I don't use Canon cameras anymore. I don't compare to those. So I wasn't comparing to those because I don't compare to those. Anyway. You've, right now, you've probably seen the, the whole thing with Max. Max called me out, asked me, invited me to come up to Washington at his expense to come up with him and work with him on getting the best out of this camera. I accepted that. If you haven't seen Wednesday, uh, if you haven't seen the show that we did Friday morning yet, you definitely want to watch that because that is where he came onto my show live. And we actually met for the first time that, that morning. At that moment, you saw us meeting for the first time. The whole setup ahead of time was done with his assistant so that Max and I could actually genuinely put eyes on each other live for the first time with a live audience. And it went remarkably well. It was very cordial, very polite, very grown up as a lot of people are saying on YouTube, which is kind of funny. Uh, and we agreed that we would get together. And I'm actually flying up there Monday morning. We're doing this as quickly as we possibly could. So Monday morning, I'm flying up there to work with Max for the whole day on trying to get the best settings, the best, uh, yeah, come up with the best settings, get the best possible that we can out of this camera. Now, are we gonna get it to be as good as the Sony? Probably not. Uh, at this point, you know, unfortunately I have to admit that I'm uh, probably not. Maybe we will, maybe we'll find something. Maybe Panasonic's gonna call me and say, hey, we figured something out, you gotta do this. Uh, or, well, anything can happen. We don't know, but that's not the expectation. And my expectation of going up there isn't to prove that it's better than anything else. That's when it comes to autofocus, uh, that's not the objective here. Our objective right now is to get the best that we possibly can out of this camera. So back to why I trimmed the video. I'm just tired of people looking at the bad results, the intentionally left up bad results and saying, well, clearly the camera is crap. That's, that wasn't the point of it. Uh, like I said, the point was education. I left that there so that people could see how the progression works, could learn from that, hopefully, and uh, maybe even come to their own conclusions. I saw some people wrote, write things like, oh, you should try minus two, plus one, whatever. I think that would work. And that's great. That's the kind of thing that I was looking for. Not, well, the camera obviously sucks. You're clearly an idiot. All the wonderful things that I've seen on there. So, so that's why I'm trimming it. Uh, I, I'm just leaving up the good part. And again, I know it's not as good as it could be. It's not the best, but we're working on getting it better. That's what we're working towards. So I hope you can understand that. I'm sure that I'm going to get all kinds of grief from people for trimming it in the first place, um, but I do feel that's better than just taking it down. And I really don't want, I, I'm, I'm tired of this negative attention. Uh, I mean, I guess that's what you get for putting yourself out on YouTube, but I'm frankly, I'm tired of it. It's not, this isn't what I set out to do. 
you know, I do this channel, you've seen the size of my channel, it's small. If you do this in YouTube, you know that when you have four or 5,000 subscribers, how much money you make, it's nothing. Believe me, I'm not doing this for the money. That is not why this is there. I'm doing it because I love the brand. And yes, I am a sponsored Panasonic Lumix Luminary, which means that it's it's part of my um, part of my charter, if you will, to promote the brand and make it look as good as it possibly can. And obviously, that's what we want to do. As I've seen other people comment and other YouTubers say, uh, saying that I, you know, recognizing that I have said in videos, I'm not going to do something to make the camera look bad. That is that is straight up. I mean, if I find something in the camera that doesn't work, I'm not going to go around and go, hey, look, this doesn't work. I'm going to figure out a way around that problem. I'm going to figure out how to make the best of that problem. That's what I do. But you know what? That's not just because I'm sponsored by Panasonic. If I bought a Canon, a Sony, whatever, and I found a problem with it, my objective is going to be to get the most out of it. I've got this amazing camera that does X, Y, and Z really, really well. So maybe this part, it doesn't do as well as we'd like it to work around it. The camera still does unbelievable other things. I mean, what other camera shoots 4K 60p at this price point, right? This is, this is insane. You're going to get 10 bit in a few months. This is insane. It's incredible what the camera can do. So Max and I are going to work together to get the best that we can out of this autofocus uh, situation. See if we can see how good we can get it. Maybe we're going to come away on Monday going, wow, we really figured something out. Maybe we're going to come away going, you know, they're just, this is as good as it gets. And, and then it's really on Panasonic to do something about it. Because I agree with what you guys are saying. I absolutely agree. It should be better. It should be easier. That's without question, it should be easier. It is better than it was on previous Lumix cameras. Of that, there is no doubt. But it should be better still. And so that's what we're all working towards together. So hopefully, as the YouTube community, we can as have a common goal here of getting the most out of this camera. If you own a GH5 and you're finding settings that work really well, tell us about it. Say, hey, in this environment, I set this up and it worked really well. I don't need to hear 5,000 more comments about how you shouldn't have to do this, about how the camera sucks. I, I get that people are frustrated. I really, really do. But that's where we're at right now. That's where we're at. We are going to make the best out of this. Don't forget the other things that the camera does and how incredible it is. I know that before the camera came out, when I had early prototypes, I was raving about the autofocus. And I stand by that because the autofocus is, again, compared to previous Lumix cameras, very, very good. I. I will continue to do more tests, shooting real world stuff, not not lab type tests. I want to be doing real world stuff, shooting snowboard. I've actually got a snowboarder that I'm shooting again on Tuesday. Um, it's a race boat that's coming up later this week that I'm going to go shoot. I'm going to be shooting video and stills because I want to keep on working with the camera and seeing what it can do in real world environments, not in test environments. I'm interested in what it does in the real world. So, so that's that's where that's at. That's what we're doing. I hope you can understand that. Um, if you're upset that I trimmed the video. Sorry, but I hope you can understand why I did that. And uh, if you're going to hate on me for trimming the video, then so be it. You know, you can't win on the internet. That's just all there is to it. But I, I think I've made my, myself pretty clear here of why I've done what I've done. And hopefully, uh, hopefully that's okay with you all. In the meantime, let's get back to using this camera, learning this camera, figuring out how to make the best out of it. And for crying out loud, man, let's go make some awesome content. It's an unbelievable piece of kit. Let's make something awesome. Let's make something beautiful.